Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and hello if you are new. Two weeks ago, I had an interview for Students Awards and I've shown you how I did the posters in InDesign. And a lot of people asked if I could show how I did the axonometric plans in AutoCAD. You ask and I deliver. So if you want to see how I did these axonometric plans in AutoCAD, then please keep watching. So the first thing that I did was to reopen the file with all of my drawings. It honestly made my heart sink opening that file again and just remembering all of that heartache and sleepless nights. Sad story aside, I took all of my plans into a new document and erased my roof plan because I won't be using that. And then I grouped each plan separately so it's easier to move around. After that, I went to the axonometric view by clicking here and you can choose which angle you want but I feel that this angle is the most common. Then I'm going to select the plans and move them from one point to the other point and then move it up so that all of the parts of the plans are visible. I made sure though that the distance between each plan is equal and that they aren't too spaced out. To make sure that the distance is equal, you can use the distance between the first two plans as a reference dimension. This technique can also be used when you're doing site analysis and you want to stack your site. So do it in CAD first before you do your diagrams in Photoshop or Illustrator. Then all you do is draw lines from the corners of the plans to meet other plans. And then that's where you see the mistakes and how the plans might not be 100% aligned. But that's okay, I don't think my teachers watch all of my videos. Selected one of the dashed lines from my plan and applied it to the other lines with match properties. Went to the properties and changed the scale of the line and that is basically it. I printed it on A3 fit to page and centered because it doesn't have to be to scale and then you can add a graphic scale. In Photoshop all I did was select the walls and then fill them with black to keep it simple. This is the final poster with all of the text. And that is all for today's video. Let me know in the comments what tutorials you would like to see next. Also, don't forget that next week I'll be doing a critique my work video. So send me your work by next week if you want it to be featured on the channel with the subject critique my work video. Don't forget to give this video a like and share because it helps support the channel so I can create more videos like this one. I'm Rasha Sharuro and I'll see you next time.